Okay. <clears throat> so sequence in sequence, like so cycle no cycle. Okay, now then. So if it is created with no cycle, so it starts from start with every time the value is incremented by one and generates up to max. After generating max, then it stops. So if sequence created with cycle, after generating max, it is reset to min value. So it's reset to min value. Okay, then. <clears throat> So if you want to reuse the cycle, if you want to reuse the cycle, then create sequence with what cycle option. Okay. So like uh, suppose here you see the vehicle numbers, vehicle numbers, some code is there, state code, etc. But actual vehicle number starts from 001. Next, so then and it trees. So they value can be up to 9999 vehicle number after reaching 9999 again it is reset to what one again it starts from one and again it is reached to with different code the different code 9999 again it is reset to one so that means they want one to 9999 so they want to reuse this number of times okay so that case uh, like create sequence with what cycle option okay now so if there is a requirement like this then create sequence with cycle <coughs> now <coughs> now let's see how to create create sequence <coughs> sequence name okay s5 create sequence sequence name suppose start with one increment by one next to max value taking five min value one cycle like this okay then like cash size <clears throat> what this is we'll discuss okay now <clears throat> then sure. so the sequence starts from one every time the value is incremented by one generates up to five after reaching 5, it is reset to 1. Okay, now after reaching 5, it is reset to 1. Again, starts from 1 and it generates up to 5. Again, reset to what? 1. So, this 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1 to 5 is what? Repeated. Okay, then. <clears throat> now, create. <clears throat> So sequence created, okay, sequence is created. After creating the sequence, so let's use the sequence. If you want to use it, you can use it for some table, create a table, like just now I said, vehicle number is there now, like that. So then, <clears throat> next, but I just want to test. You want to just for uh, testing, you want to test how this works. Simply you can say select all. Just for testing. So select what? Okay, now. I want to see the sequence next value. How to get the sequence next value? Next value for S5. Okay, then. <clears throat> so earlier what we have done, we inserted this value into the table. You call this next value for sequence and insert command. So the value written by this is inserted into table and you call this in update command. So this uh, value written by this is updated. So then, but just for testing how this sequence works. So I'm calling this in select. If you call this in select, then it is displayed. If you call this an in insert, then this value is inserted into some table. If you call this an update, it's updated in table. So if you call this in select, it is displayed. So now let's run this command. <clears throat> one <clears throat> for the first time. Now what are the next? Next one is what? Two, three, four, five, five. Reached what? Max. After reaching max, again click this. Then 
1 it is reset to 1 so reset to 1 2 3 4 5 like this that's it because you said max value 5 okay na then <clears throat> so if you say max value 9000 then after reaching 9000 999 it is reset to 1 that's all depends understood then <clears throat> that's all so this is sequence with what cycle option you want to use the sequence reuse you want to reuse the sequence number of times if you want one time then create sequence with no cycle but you want to reuse the sequence number of times create sequence with cycle option understood then <clears throat> so this is the example cycle example Okay. <clears throat> Clear. <clears throat> Now, this for testing, like uh, call this in what select statement. Okay, and how it works, how the sequence works, call this in select statement. Okay, And then how to call select what. Next value for S Y. So every time this uh, every time this is executed, <clears throat> this will generate the next value, and select will display that value. Okay, then. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, now then. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> okay. So you know, start with you know increment, you know max, you know min, you know cycle. But what you don't know is cache size. What is this cache size is? <clears throat> okay, cache size. you declare some value here this is called cache size here what is the size declared 4 okay then <clears throat> like uh, suppose here then for example <clears throat> i create one sequence like i create a sequence like just see this just to explain One ten sequence ten. Max value is what thousand. <clears throat> Min value one. Cash size is hundred. Okay, then I declare the cash size what hundred. What this cash size is? <clears throat> First of all, <clears throat> so tell me how the next value is generated. Okay, na. How how we generate the next value for the first time? <clears throat> listen, first time you call what next value for sequence? Okay, first time it generates one. Start with for the first time it generates one. Start with start with is one generates one. Next, so it goes to database. In database, what it stores? It stores what last value. It stores what last value. Okay. Now, what is the last value? <clears throat> one. Next time you call sequence next value. Next time, next time you call sequence next value. Next value for sequence. What it it goes to database. Get the last value. Last value is added to increment by. Last value is added to increment by. What is the last value? One. Increment by one. One. Plus one generates two. After generating two, then this is updated with what <clears throat> last value is updated with what two. 
So this is updated with 2. Again, you call the sequence next value. Again, it goes to database. What is the last value? 2 plus increment by 2 plus 1. So returns what? 3. Then this, this is updated with what? 3. Like that. So tell me what's happening here. Every time you call sequence next value, what's happening? <clears throat> so it is going to the database, getting the last value. The last value is added to increment by generating the next value. After generating the next value, then updating the last value. Okay, now it goes to database, get the last value, add it to the increment by, generate the next value, update the last value. So every time it has to do this internally. So this degrades what performance. Every time it has to go to database, get the value, update the value. So it degrades what performance. To improve the performance, okay, na? to improve the performance, what SQL server says use cache size. To improve the performance, what SQL server says use cache size. Okay, so I say cache 100. <clears throat> if I say cache 100 means what happens is 100 values are stored in cache memory. Okay, na? if you say cache 100 means what? 100 values are stored in what? Cache memory. So this is the cache memory. And in this cache memory, 1 to 100 is pre-allocated. 100 values are pre-allocated in cache memory. Okay, na? so then now what is copied to the database? What is copied to the database? Last value. What is the last value? 100. <clears throat> now, next. Now, wh now what you are doing is you are calling sequence. What's that? Next value for sequence. When you call next value for sequence, then it will not go to database. It will not go to database. It will not get the last value plus increment by it will not do that. Why? <clears throat> Already the values are generated stored in cache memory. Then it goes to what? Cache memory. So get the value, return that value. So what are the value for the first time? One. Again, you call next value for sequence. It goes to cache memory. Get the value, return the value. Two. Next time, two. Next time, what's that? Three. Next time four. Like this, you generate it up to what? 100. For all this, it will not go to the database. It goes to cache memory. 100. So then once 100 is generated, uh, then again, SQL server pre-allocates what? Again, SQL server pre-allocates what? 101 to what? 200. 101 to 200. So then, and it uh, update the last value. So the last value is updated with what? 200. The last value is updated with 200. Okay. Then <clears throat> next. Again, you call sequence next value. It goes to cache memory. Return the value. 101. 102. Like this. You generated up to 200. Uh, again, it reallocates what? 100 values. 201 to 300. Then update the database. So every time it's not going to database. So number of requests to going to database are reduced. So performance is what improved. So what is faster earlier? It has to go to database every time. Now it doesn't need to go to database every time. Understood then. So number of requests going to database reduced. Performance is what improved. Okay now <clears throat> then. So what is faster? Accessing database is faster. Huh? Cache memory is faster. Huh? Cache memory is passed. Okay. Then, so this improves performance. That's all. That is the only purpose of using this cache size. Improving the performance. Okay. <clears throat> then. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> like here, cache ended. What the cache ended means? Then SQL server reallocates 100 values in cache memory. Thank <clears throat> <clears throat> 
then <coughs> so next so whenever we call what then is this sir pre allocates and net values in cache memory so whenever we call so whenever so when we call call sequence next value when we call next value for sequence then <clears throat> when we call next value for sequence then sql server goes to hash memory and get the value sql server goes to cache memory <clears throat> um and get the value and return that value return that value from cache memory and I return that value from cache memory <clears throat> so no <clears throat> so so number of requests going to <clears throat> number of requests going to database are what reduced and performance is what improved return that value from cache memory not for from <clears throat> that's all. this is the purpose of cache is <clears throat> Okay. <coughs> That's <all. coughs> so. This is about sequence. Okay. Then <coughs> next. how to see the sequence list if you want to see the list of sequences select star from information schema dot what sequences <coughs> information underscore schema dot sequences <clears throat> now so <clears throat> list of sequences created by user <clears throat> list of sequences created by user <clears throat> then what is select what select <clears throat> start from information underscore schema dot sequences so this is sequence s1 sequence s1 
Okay, then. No. <clears throat> Sequence S1, and this is what? <clears throat> okay, then max value, min value, cycle one means <clears throat> cycle zero means no cycle. Okay, then that's Okay, na? So this is what <coughs> how to see the sequence list. <coughs> so if you want to change this value, so max value. I want to change the max value. You can change by using alter command. By using what? <coughs> alter command. Then, <coughs> so like we can say alter sequence. What is the sequence name? S3, 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 what <coughs> max value 100. <coughs> Actually, max value is 9999. Changing this to 100. You can change these parameters by using alter commands. Okay, then. So, <coughs> now, now let's see. Now let's see this here. S3, S3 now max value is changed to 100. Okay, then anything can be changed. <clears throat> now, like how to, okay, nah? how to change max value. So changing what's that max value. Okay, then how to change sequence parameters. Or to change the sequence. What are the parameters? Max value, min value. All can be changed except start with. Start with cannot be changed. <clears throat> then alter sequence, sequence name S3. Start with 100. <clears throat> okay, altered sequence is restart with 100. So it is reset to what? Sorry, 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 not start with bus. What? Sorry, not start with what? Max value, max value 100. Not start with max value 100. Actual max value is 999. Then, so 999, but I want to change that max value to 100. Okay, then. <clears throat> Next, so suppose here, then, for example, you said start with is 1, increment by 1, and max value is 100, suppose. Okay. Then it starts from 1, every time value is incremented by 1 and generates up to 100. Suppose it, it, you reach it, you generated up to 50. So can a sequence is generated up to what? 50. After reaching 50, again you decided to restart from 1. Actually max value is 100. Okay now, if you use cycle, then what happens? After reaching 100, then it is reset to 1. But my requirement is, so after reaching, I reached 50. After reaching 50, I decided to restart from 1. Okay, due to some reason, I want to restart the sequence from out. How to restart the sequence manually? How to reset the sequence manually? Okay, na? then how to reset sequence what? Manually. Manually also we can reset the sequence. How? Okay, then. <clears throat> oh, like you have to say alter sequence sequence name alter sequence sequence name s1 restart with one 
alter sequence S1, restart with 1. Alter sequence S1, restart with 1. So now after executing this command, it restarts from 1. Okay, then you are manually resetting the sequence to 1. Then so now let's see alter sequence S1, restart with 1. Okay, now if you say select what next value for what such S1, what it prints? 1, next 2, next 3. Again, I want to restart from 1. Uh, then run this command. What? Then select next value for sequence. Yes, 1. After reaching 3, you executed this command. Now it is reset to 1 or not? Yes. Okay, then. Understood? So manually resetting. Cycle. What is the difference between cycle and this? Cycle, what, what is the difference between cycle and executing this command? In case of cycle, after reaching max value, then it will be reset to min value. But here what? We are manually resetting. Okay, now? So after reaching some certain value, you want to restart from what one? <clears throat> okay. Like uh, suppose here uh, there is some, like billing is there. Okay, now? Billing. So billing, bill number is there. Bill number is there. Bill date is there. Every day they want to start from what sir? Bill number one. Yesterday, suppose what? Yesterday, like date 20, 22, 10, 11, 10. Okay, no? Yesterday. Yesterday, suppose they issued some uh, 200 bills to the customer. Yesterday, 200 bills are issued to the customer. Next day, today. Again, today they want to start from 1. They want to start from 1. So, 20, 22, next one, uh, 11, next one, 11. They want to start from 1. So, today they issue, suppose, some 150. Next, again, next day, tomorrow they want to start from 1, like that. So, that case, this is required. Understood? Then. <clears throat> Okay, then that's all. This is about sequence. How to drop dropping sequence? Drop sequence, sequence name. Drop sequence S1. Sequence S1 is what? Drop. Sequence S1 is drop. Drop sequence S1. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next. What the next topic is? Indexes. Okay. Indexes. So, what is index? What for indexes are created? What is index? What for index? So, index is also a okay. Index is also a database object created to improve the performance of what database object created to improve the performance of what data accessing so index is also a database object created to improve the performance of data accessing okay Accessing the data from table, getting the data from table. Okay, then. <clears throat> uh, 
and next so you can say index what index improves the improves index improves what performance of what search operation index improve the performance of what search okay then <clears throat> search means hmm hmm search searching for particular record particular row how to do the search operation in oracle sorry sql server where class select star from emb where so index will improve the performance of that search operation searching for particular record okay then because here every query runs faster here every query runs faster you submit the query then you see the output in seconds or fraction of seconds you run select start from emp where e name equals to something like so this query runs what's at faster you see the output immediately seconds are fraction of seconds why because your table contains only 14 rows so every query runs faster but if you go to real time tables the table contains lakhs of rows tables contains what lakhs if table contains lakhs of rows then so then sql server takes more time to search for the record because it has to search for this record in lakhs of rows so searching takes what more time okay na then suppose sometimes they it may take uh, half an hour also okay so then if it takes like more time but users cannot wait for half an hour to see the output they wanted the response in seconds or fraction of second they can't wait for minutes time so if the query is taking more time to run then what you do something to make it run faster you need to do something to make it run faster so what is index one of the uh, one of the technique in sql server to improve the performance of this search operation is what index okay then so index in sql server is similar to index in textbook index in sql server is similar to what index in textbook every textbook comes with index suppose a sql server textbook is there the textbook contain 1000 pages okay na in the textbook there is no index i'll give the textbook to you i'll ask you to find out the joint topic i'll give the textbook to you i'll ask you to find the joint topic then what you do you have to go to each and every page you have to check joints is there or not okay na but you have to search in all the 1000 pages otherwise until you find the joint topic you have to scan the complete textbook so that takes more time or not yes suppose as if index is there if index is there you don't need to go to each and every page just go through the index in index topics are arranged alphabetically ascending order okay na so find the joint topic the topic is associated with page number take that page number go to that page searching is faster or not yes so however a textbook index works the same way database index works however a textbook index works same way what database index but what the difference is in difference is in textbook search is per particular topic but in database search is per particular record in textbook you search per particular topic but in database you search per particular record so where name equal to blake salary equal to 3000 job equal to clerk department number is 30 so you search per particular records so index will improve the performance of that search operation okay then so now index in database is similar to index in textbook 
index in textbook. In textbook, using index, a particular topic can be located fastly. And in database, using index, a particular record can be located fastly. Okay, then <clears throat> now so an indexes are created. Indexes are created on columns. You create index on what columns? Like column. What is the columns? E name, salary, job. Department member, there are columns of the table. So you create indexes on what columns? Okay, you create index on columns, and that column is called that column is called index key. Indexes are created on columns, and that column is called index key. Okay, then. So if you create index on salary, that is called index key. If you create index on e name, that is called index key. So you create indexes on columns, that column is called index key. Okay, then. Now, <clears throat> okay, next. Uh, <clears throat> next one. Suppose here, yeah, let's see, for example, then. <clears throat> Oh. For example, uh, like here actually, how you decide that on which column you create the index? Okay, how you decide that? Like uh, suppose, for example, this is the query. Just see, select star from EMB where salary equal to something 3000. So user running this query, but this query is taking more time. SQL server is taking more time to find the record salary equal to 3000. So then to improve the performance of this query, better to create index on what salary column. You create index on salary column. If you create index on salary column, then this search operation is improved. Performance of the search operation is improved. So here where condition is based on E name. If where condition is based on E name, so this query is taking more time. So then to improve the performance of this, create index on what E name. So on which column you create the index? You create the index on column that is frequently used in where condition. Frequently used in where condition. That is one. And another one is like uh, suppose here, I join these two tables frequently. I join these two tables frequently. And I join these two tables on what? department number so better to create index on department number to improve the performance of join operation to improve the performance of join better to create index on department number so then now tell me on which columns you create the indexes indexes created on indexes created on what columns uh, then one is what that are frequently User in what set? Where class? Frequently accessed in where class? Or user in what set? User in what? Join operation. The columns that are user in join operation.
Okay, then. <coughs> now, <coughs> so that are frequently used in where class that are used in what join operation on those columns you create what index. Okay, then. So what are the different types of indexes? What are the different types of indexes? Mainly two types. One is what non-cluster indexes and cluster indexes. Non-cluster indexes, one is simple, another one what composite, another one what unique, next one. Second one what cluster indexes. There are two types, non-cluster and cluster. Okay, ah, then, so what is non-cluster? Like what is cluster? We'll, we'll see that. After going to cluster topic, you'll understand the difference. Just assume that now leave it non-cluster, cluster at present. So we'll start what simple index, simple non-cluster index. Okay, then. So simple non-cluster index, but you'll understand what is cluster, what is non-cluster, you'll understand this later. Then, so when index is called simple index, okay, when index is called simple, if you create index, if index created on what, index created on what's that single column then it is called what simple index if index created on single column then it is called simple index if index created on multiple column then it is called composite okay then sometimes you create on single column sometimes you need multiple first let's see simple okay then Now, so what the syntax is, syntax is what create index, index name on table name in brackets column name. So this is the syntax for creating index. Create index, index name on table name in brackets column name. Uh, what? Okay, create index, index name on table name in brackets column name. So this is the syntax for creating the sequence. I want to create the sequence. I create the sequence on salary. Like how you decide you create sequence on salary now? You create sequence on salary now? Like the columns which are frequently used. So otherwise user is running a query, selects are from EMP where salary equal to or something. So that query is running slow. Then you create index on salary column. Understood? Then, sir, in the beginning, like suppose here, one client is there. He just recently started using the database. Okay, now he started using the database. So. When, when you started using the database, every query runs faster. Why? You will not get any performance related issues. Every query runs faster. Why? Because? Because database contains what? Less, only less amount of data. So, but he's using the database for several years, over five years. He has been using the database for five years. Now, then he'll encounter with performance related issues. Why? Database is filled with huge amount of data. Okay, now then. So like you take banking. Okay, now. So initially, bank transaction table is there. That is, contains only less. But they're using this for several years. Then, so transaction table contains what? More. Use amount of data. Understood? 
So that case, this uh, they encounter with what performance related issues. So that case indexes comes into the picture. Okay, now then. Now suppose I'm creating index. Create index I1 on EMP salary. Okay, create index I1 on EMP salary. So I'm creating index on what salary column. So when you create index on salary column, then what? Okay, I'm creating index on salary column. And then, so, no. Let's see this. One index is created. Commands completed successfully. Index is created. So you can see that index in database. What object exploded? In which database? DB, 7 a.m. Where? Index is not there, no? Programmability, then what is there? Stored procedures, functions, triggers, sequences, like that. Then, where you can find the indexes? Tables. On which table you create the index? EMP table. Expand EMP table. Here there is a call indexes. Expand this indexes, I1. So okay now, then understood. So where you can find the index under the table. So you create an index on EMP table. You can find this under the EMP table. Okay, then <coughs> now. So then, uh, but here, okay. After executing this command, what happens? What happens? How this will improve the performance? Yes or no? You created index now, but how this index will improve the performance? What happens? After executing this command, internally, one structure is created. Internally, what's that? One structure is created. What is that structure is called? That structure is called B3. What is that structure is called? B tree. What is B tree stands for? Balanced binary tree. What is B tree stands for? Balanced binary trees created after executing this command. Okay, now after executing this command, internally one structure is created. That structure is balanced binary tree. With the help of that balanced binary tree, SQL server locate the data fastly. Okay, na? SQL server locate the data fastly. Like, so suppose, for example, how, how that balanced binary tree looks, it looks like, how it looks like. So then, now let's see, suppose here, B3 index in SQL, okay. Anything is okay, then. <coughs> okay. Oh. Okay, let us take this one. Okay, no? so what is this is called? This is called what's that? Balanced binary tree. So this type of structure is created after executing that command. After executing what? Create index I1 on EMP in bracket salary. Okay, so this structure is created. Now, so try to understand this structure. Okay, no? try to do what's that? If you understand this structure, then you'll understand how index improves what performance. Okay, then. So understand this structure. But in this structure, each one is called one node. They're called nodes. This is one node. 
this is one node, this is one node, this is one node. Each one is called one node. And what are these nodes are called? These nodes are called what? Leaf nodes. These nodes are called what? Leaf nodes. And these nodes are called root nodes. These nodes are called what? Leaf nodes. These nodes are called root nodes. And what are these nodes are called? These nodes are called intermediate nodes. One is leaf nodes, root node. First, first one in the tree, that is called root node. The last one in the tree, leaf nodes. In between, intermediate. But in intermediate levels can be one or more than one also. But in this example, one is there. But sometimes it may be more than one also. Intermediate levels. So root node, intermediate and leaf nodes. So first to understand the leaf nodes. Understand the leaf nodes. What is leaf nodes contains? Every leaf node contains salary. You created index on salary now. Every leaf node contains what? Salary plus address of the record. Okay. Every leaf node contains salary plus what? Address. Salary plus address. Like you take 16. 16. What is 16 is salary. Hourly salary. Just you take hourly. Okay. Na? Uh, assume 16. All these values are what? Salaries. Just assume that salary. 16 is salary. What is this row ID? Row ID means address. Address of the record. Whose salary equal to 16? Sir, where the actual record is there? Actual record is there in the table. Record is not there in the index. Okay, now what is index contains only salary. Because you created index on salary. It contains only salary. So, salary plus address of the record whose salary equal to 16. Okay, now then. And next 36, 35. What is 35? Salary. And what is row ID? Address, record address. The record address. Whose salary equals to 35. And 65. Okay, na? row ID. 65 salary plus address. Address of the record whose salary equal to 65. Understood? Then. So it contains what? Salaries plus addresses. Like in textbook, index contains topic and page number. Topic, page number. Topic, page number. Na? Here what? Salary plus address. Salary plus address. Because the actual record is stored in table. That address is stored here. Okay, then. Next one. So that means here, uh, like you take, how many records are there in the table? No, no, here, 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 in this example. Huh? How many records are there in the table? 15 records. How many addresses are there? 15 addresses. How many records are there in the table? 15. Every address points to one record in the table. Na? So total how many addresses are there? 15 addresses. That means in table also how many records are there? 15 records are there in the table. Okay. This is leaf notes. Every leaf note contains salary plus address. Next one. There is a call root node and intermediate nodes. And every root node and intermediate nodes contains a left pointer and a right pointer. Left pointer points to the values less than 122. Right pointer points to the values greater than 122. Left pointer points to what, sir? Values what? Less than or equals to. Less than or equals to. Right pointer points to the values greater than 122. Okay. Uh, now, 65. 65 left side. What? Less than or equal to 65. You see that all these values are less than or equal to 65. 65 right side, greater than 65. 122 right side, greater than 122. 136 left side, less than or equals to 136. 136 right side, greater than 136. 151 right side, greater than 151. Okay? Understood? So this is the what structure of the index, structure of the B tree. Okay, with the help of this index, SQL server locate the data fastly. 
How? One second. Suppose I submit a query. What is the query? Select star from EMP where salary equals to 136. Who are earning 136 per hour, $136. Earning $136 per hour. I want to find out that employees. Okay, na? you submit this query. When you submit this query to SQL server, assume index is not there. If index is not there, then it goes to what? It goes to the table. If index is not there, it goes to table. If index is there, it goes to index. If index is not there, then goes to the table. If index is there, then goes to index. If it goes to table, then how, how the searching is? If it goes to table, how the searching is? Row by row. So it go to first record. Search. So whether salary is 136 or not. Go to second row. Checks. Salary is 130. Third row. Fourth row. Fifth row. How many rows are there? How many rows are there? 15 rows. Table contains 15 rows. How many comparisons? 15 comparison. So it has to do 15 comparisons. Uh, then, so if index is not there. Suppose index is there. If index is there, then it goes to what? Index. It goes to index. Uh, then, what is the given value? 136. Given value is 136. Given value is 136. But what is the root node is? 122. 136, 122 is compared. 136 is greater than 122. Then go to right side. SQL server goes to right side. 136, 136 is compared. Then go to left side. Go to left side. 136, left side. Less than means left side. Less than or equal means left side. Greater than means right side. Now 136 equal to 136. Then go to left side. So 123, false. Now it has come to the leaf node. It has come to the leaf node. Okay, na? It has come to the leaf node. So then it will search for any leaf node is there with value 136. So 123, no. 135, no. 136, yes. Condition, what's that? True. Then what it will do? Take this address. Take this address. Okay, na? Go to the table. Go to the table. Fed the record from the... Once it knows the address, directly go to that address and find the record from the... Fed the record from the table. So here, how many comparisons? Tell me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 comparisons. In 5 comparisons, you are able to find out salary equal to 136. If it goes to table, how many comparisons? 15 comparisons. If it goes to index, how many comparisons? 5. Number of comparisons are reduced to less than of. When number of comparisons are reduced to less than of, performance gets double or not? Yes. So that is how index improves performance by reducing what number of comparisons. So if it goes to table, it has to scan the complete table. But if it is goes to index, so it doesn't need to scan the complete table, only on average half of the table. Because so for given value, either it has to set either left side or right side. It doesn't need to set the complete. Yes or no? Either it has to set what? Either left side or right side. Doesn't need to scan the complete table. So that is how index improves what performance. Okay, then. Clear? No. <clears throat> so then. But if you want our example, then. So this is EMP table salary. What is the salary? One salary is what said? 1000. One salary is 5,000, one salary 3,000, one is 2,000, one is 1,500, one is 3,000, one is 2,000, 4,000, one is 2,500. So total, I have taken eight salaries, eight employees. This is the actual table, eight employees, eight salaries. Now, next, you created index on what salary? When you create index on salary, then it will be like this. I'm just taking the root node. The root node is 3000. Next one, 2000. Left side of 2000, what's that? 1000 star. Next one, 1500 star. Next one, 2000. 
2000 star star means address okay na address of the row next uh, next one 2000 right side 2000 right side 2000 500 star next one 3000 3000 star comma star why two stars okay na why two stars because there are two employees sending 3000 why 3002 addresses because there are two records with salary 3000 so this is one record this is one record so that's why two row ids two addresses understood uh, next so this is left side of 3000 but the right side of 3000 is 4000 left side of 4000 is 4000 star i am taking according to the table next one right side of 4000 is 5000 star that's all <coughs> But I'm not drawing the lines then. Then you can also take like this. and <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> so this root node 3000, intermediate nodes 2000, 4000, this is based on algorithm. Okay, now how the root node 3000 is decided, how this 2000, 4000 is decided, it's based on what algorithm? B3 algorithm is there, that is called data structures algorithm. Okay, na? B3 is one of the data structure. So based on that algorithm, it decides the root node and plus intermediate nodes. Okay, then. <clears throat> now. Okay, now. Now. So, then. <clears throat> uh, so when you submit this query. Okay, when you submit the query. So I'm clearing the what? Oh. When you submit this query, when we submit the query to SQL Server, when we what? When we submit query to SQL Server, okay. When we submit query to SQL Server, it uses following two methods. So it uses following two methods to locate the record. It uses following to locate the record. It uses following methods. One is what? What is that method is table scan. Another method is what? Index scan. So there are two methods to what? There are two methods to locate the record. One is what? Table scan. Another one is what? Index scan. 
So what is table scan is? In table scan, SQL server scans what complete table. Okay, in table scan, SQL server scans what complete table. That is what each and every row, each and every record. But in index scan, but in index scan, on average, SQL server scans what scans only what half of the table. But in table scan, it scans complete table. But in index scan, it scans only half of the table. So when number of comparisons reduced, performance is improved. Okay, then <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> table and index. Okay, now no. so then suppose, for example, like I submit a query, I submit this query, select SAR from EMP. When you submit this query, then SQL server uses what table scan. Why? Because you're asking for complete table, then it uses what? Table scan. Now, SQL selects are from EMP where E name equals to Blake. And then, so when you submit this query, first SQL server checks any index is available on E name or not. If index is available, then it goes to index. If index is not available, then it goes to table. But in our example, we created index on what salary. So then for this query, it will use what table scan. For this query, it uses table scan. Select star from EMP because you're asking all the rows. So it uses table scan. Next one. Suppose, for example, select what star? Select star from EMP where? Select star from EMP where? Salary. Salary equals to 3000. If you say this, then what it uses? It uses what? Index scan. Because Index is created on index is created on salary column where condition is also based on salary column. So to locate the salary equal to three thousand, SQL Server will use index because for this query it will not use index. Why? Because you created index on salary, but here where condition based on what e name? Okay, then. Okay, now. And so suppose here, then, uh, not only this query, I, I explained how this is executed. Salary equal to 3000. Then you know that now, what it will do? Uh, uh, like, let's go to this one. This is our index. What are the given? Given salary is what, sir? 3000, 3000, 3000 is compared. Then go to 3000, 3000 is compared. Go to left side. Equal na, equal or less than go to left side. Greater than go to right side. Next 2000, 3000 is compared. Then row, go to right side. So right side, 2000. Now it has come to the leaf node. So leaf node. So what is leaf node contains salaries. So any salaries there with 3000? Yes. Uh, then you take this what? Addresses. How many addresses? Two. Then go to the table with the two records from the table. So once it knows address, directly go to that address and select the row. Okay. So how many comparisons? One. Next one, two. Next one, three. Next one, four. Four comparisons. In four comparisons, you are able to find out salary equal to 3000. Understood? Then. Addresses will not be same. Oh. Records are different now. So there are two employees sending 3,000. Then these two records are not stored in one place. These two records are stored in two different places, two different locations. Not one employee. There are 
two employees then so their memory will be different so the, because they are stored in two different places okay salaries are same no salaries are same but records are different employees are different okay na then so now not only for this query even for this query also suppose you write like something like selects are from emp where salary greater than or equals to 3000 you write like this for this query also it will use what index because here also salary condition based on salary ka so for this it uses index okay then <clears throat> now no oh. so if you if you give salary greater than or equal to 3000 then what how it uh, checks salary greater than or equal to 3000 then and one more thing said these leaf notes are interlinked there is a interlink between the leaf notes you check you see this this leaf notes are what's that interlinked so that is useful to switch from one leaf note to another leaf note to jump from one leaf to one leaf to another leaf it doesn't need to go to root node okay na directly from here it it can switch from one leaf node to another leaf node okay then so suppose given salary is what's that 3000 so 3000 3000 is compared then go to go to what left side so don't take this operator now okay na okay don't consider this operator you consider this operator after going to the leaf node so here you know you consider only this value 3000 3000 3000 is compared then go to left side 2000 3000 is compared go to right side 2000 find it condition false 3000 Yes, because you're asking greater than or equal to three thousand. Condition true, okay, na? And also, it selects all the nodes right side to this three thousand. It selects all the nodes right side to this three thousand without any comparison. It selects all the nodes right side to this three thousand because the nodes which are right side to this three thousand are what greater than three thousand. If you see the tree structure in such a way that left to right, how the values are arranged. Ascending order, left to right, the values are arranged in what alpha uh, ascending order. Okay, so then once it comes to this three thousand, okay, so it selects all the nodes right side to this three thousand with the help of this interlinks, with the help of what the interlinks. So it selects all the nodes right side to this three thousand. So it take this two, it take this address, take this address. Total how many addresses it takes? Four. Then go to the table. Fetch the four records from the table. Understood? Then. So then next here also select start from what EMP where salary what sir less than or equals to three thousand. Then less than or equals to three thousand. Then what same thing? Okay, less than or equal to three thousand. So here also what? Here also, then. Ah, uh, here also what it goes to three thousand, three thousand. Then three thousand, three thousand equal now. Go to left side. Two thousand, three thousand is equal. Three thousand is greater than two thousand. Then go to right side. Two thousand find it. Yes. You are asking less than or equals to two thousand find it. Yes. Three thousand. Yes. Uh, and it also select the nodes left side to this three thousand. The nodes which are left side to this three thousand are what less than three thousand. Okay, by using that interlinks, so it selects all the nodes left side to this three thousand without any comparison. It will not compare. Okay, just directly go to this, take the addresses and go to the table, fetch the records from the table. Understood? Then that's all. So this is. How how it works? Okay, na. What happens when you create the index? When you submit the query, how it will get the data from table through index? Okay, na. What is better? Uh, 
directly going to the table is better. Huh? Through index is better. Huh? Through index is better. Through index gives good performance instead of directly going to the table. Okay, then. Okay, then. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Sequence lo you tell it. Hmm. Okay. Na. Concatenate to just codes. That's why I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 